Good evening and welcome back once again. So I hope you managed to join me for the first episode, which was the intro to Resident Evil 4, one of my all-time favourite games. We have thrown a few tips and tricks in there as well if you're not too familiar with the game. And we're continuing now after having, well we went through the intro, basically the basis of the story. We have one of our first battles in the village with the multiple enemies. And towards the end of the last episode we were captured and we're in a mysterious place. We were handcuffed to a friend I suppose that we met, um, someone that will become helpful in the future. We managed to escape to one of the enemies and we're now continuing where we left off. Just going to grab some items, I think that's it. And we'll see what initially looks like, not a friendly face, but more will become clear. Over here, stranger. So this guy is one of the most iconic people in the game. What we'll do is we'll go and find this guy. Now it's this area safe, at least in this internal bit. But we'll go around the corner and we'll meet one of our first big characters in the game. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. So this is basically the shop. So you meet this guy, the stranger, and you can buy, sell, and upgrade weapons. First of all, what we'll do is we'll have a look to sell. What we'll do is we'll sell some of our spinels or spinels. Sell all of them because they're just one-off items that you can sell. We'll sell the pill pendant because, again, there's no attachments or it doesn't slot into anything. We're not going to sell the beer stein though because there are further gemstones that we can insert into that. I would always suggest that one of the first things you buy is the attache case. Any upgrades you can get for that you want to do. So we'll buy that now just increases the capacity we will buy the treasure map even though i know probably where the treasures are but i may be, be able to show you that a little bit later on it just highlights some of the really sort of expensive treasures that you can find and there are three new guns that we can buy at the moment we've already got the handgun we've already got the shotgun we can now buy the rifle the tmp which is like a submachine gun or a rocket launcher. Now these are one-off items, the rocket launcher. Very expensive, but they're very good for bosses because they kill a lot, but not all bosses in one hit. Scope is an additional for the rifle, which just increases how far you can zoom in, and I think it's a little bit more accurate. What we are gonna buy today is the TMP for sure. What I would say is if you've got the money, yeah, you could just go out and buy the rifle, the TMP, the scope, and think great. Better weapons do become available in time, and I don't wanna spoil too much. There is a better sniper rifle that will appear. The TMP is actually a good end game weapon, an even new game plus weapon, until you unlock some very specialist equipment. So I think we'll just buy the TMP for now. So when you buy something, you come to the screen, you can use the right hand side to place things temporarily, to rearrange things. What we'll do is we'll just place this here for now, but we will go and change the inventory round to be a little bit more tidier. And in the tune up section, you can actually increase certain aspects of your weapons that you've got. And you can see on the left hand side, you've got firepower, firing speed, reload speed, and capacity. And again, we could increase the handgun and shotgun that we've got now. However, we will be getting better weapons available soon. When you sell the weapons, you do get some of the money back for the upgrades that you've spent, but not the full amount. So I think we'll just hold off for now. So another little tip, which is actually really key, and it's especially on your first playthrough and maybe new game plus the first time, can be very, very key in terms of saving you money and ammo. But if you go to increase the capacity of any weapon that you've got, it will also fill the ammo of that weapon. If you can see my shotgun currently holds six. I've actually, I'm actually holding six at the moment. If I equip my handgun, you can see that the current capacity is 10, but I'm only holding six in the clip. If I upgraded this now, it would upgrade it to 13, and it would also fill the weapon. You would actually be getting a free four bullets extra in essence. If you upgrade this when it's full capacity, you would only gain the extra three from increasing it. The best thing to do is actually, if you can, is to leave the weapon as empty as possible before you're going to upgrade it. So leave it at you know, like a one or a zero, obviously zero is the best if you can. It can take some planning, and I would say for certain weapons, it's more key. So the more rare an ammo is, the better this trick is. And there's some really high-end guns that you get towards further in the game, sort of magnum-type weapons, and the ammo is very, very sparse. It's a very heavy-hitting gun. There's a couple of weapons like that. So as you can see, I've sort of rearranged the inventory round just the way I like it for now. This will move around a lot depending on new weapons you buy, the space increase of, in, of the actual case itself and any sort of 
extra equipment that you get such as health items and there are some attachments for your guns that you can buy as well. Yeah, so what we're going to do is head through this door. It's a big open area with lots of sort of walkways and ledges, lots of enemies. There are two ways really that you can do this. One is to rush it, try and find the two items that you need to get through to the next stage. Or you can systematically take out the enemies, which is what I'm going to do on this playthrough at least. Just take them all out. We'll take a fair amount of bullets and we may take a few hits, hopefully not too many. There's this guy, Ruby guy first on the right here, so we'll try and take him out quickly. And you can see all these enemies start coming down here. So there are some guys with sort of the bomb flare type things. They may do us a favour and actually try and throw bombs at us and hit. Yeah. Sometimes they end up hitting the enemies themselves. Like that, see? She hit himself. There we go. You can hit some of them off the ledge, which is good. Well, it's good and bad. Because if they drop off the edge, they... Take too many bullets in there. Again. That should take them out as well. We're happy to hit him off the ledge. Now there's some more coming up here. Right, so that'll clear them. No, so we're gonna go inside here. Now there will be some some enemies, not immediately. The enemies haven't walked up here yet. I was like, Ooh, just before he did that. So this is the first item that we need. The first half. Let's see if I can shoot this guy down. I can. Just avoided him. I'm gonna run back here like a coward. So there you go. Now the TMP is a good one because the app, it's weaker, so you normally get more ammo for it. But that also means that if you're just looking for hits of any sort, whoops. So I know if I hit these guys, it will knock them off. So you want to use weak ammo for that, so it's not a waste. So again, it's about balancing, you know, the actual rewards, but also you want to keep your health as high as possible. Let's climb up here. That's that guy. I can't remember where he was. We got lucky with a headshot. Ah, there we go. So because the music's gone quiet, it means, at least for now, that the enemies are clear. So what we'll do is we'll just go around, we'll just get the last bits and pieces. So what we're going to do is we're just going to jump straight down and again, and then we're going to go to the exit and it will ask us to combine the items. There you go, we've combined them and now we can use it as a full key as such. 
So we're into the next area. Now there's no enemies in this first bit. So we can just go around collecting some items. It's weird, it's one of those games that I've played so many times and unless I haven't played it for a while, I know pretty much most of the game back to front. I just enjoy playing it. I don't know why, it's, it, it's weird that you think, you know, playing a game over and over again wouldn't be that entertaining, but yeah, there's just something about that um, I really enjoy. So as you can see, enemies straight away, what we'll do is we'll quickly kick in. See, the harder difficulty you play this, the more hits that the enemies take. Now, when we jump through here, we're going to have to be quick and hide because there are some guys throwing grenades. So, let's have a. Yeah. I tell you what you want to do is kind of just wait a little bit for the other guys to clamber over. And you can see they get pretty much annihilated by their own. Gotta be really careful here though. There will be some more enemies coming through in a second. There you go. Just wanna avoid these traps as well though. Gotta be careful. Damn. It's not the end of the world because I was gonna use something in a moment. Be, I think it is. So what I'll do is I did manage to pick up a yellow herb before, so we're going to use that now. This is the ideal time to use the red, green, and yellow herb. So there you go. It's filled up my health. It's also increased the overall gain. Just be a little bit careful. There are some items in here. I think there's one over here. Ah, didn't avoid it. There's me saying, "I'll be careful." And there. Ooh, look at the shiny thing. And then I walk into a trap. So what you want to do is break this, jump through, and there's an item here. See there's an enemy straight away, but if you hit him low enough, yes the TMP doesn't do much damage, but it still knocks them down, and then you can just go in and slice them. Now you want to jump down here, there's no fall damage, you want to pick up the items. Now there are some fish in the water, and you can, you can kill them. And the best way to do that is to slice them because it's free. So it may take a little bit of time, but what you want to do is just go around killing these fish, pick up as many as you can. Your space is probably going to be fairly full at this point. So I did manage to pick up one of the fish, the larger one, the large bass. As you can see, there's no other space in my inventory. What I could do is I could combine these three together, possibly have space for another fish. It's probably not worth it really though. The, the, the green herbs are pretty important to keep separate so we can then combine them with the red and yellow. We did manage to use one of the fish just to eat instantly without actually picking it up and it healed us, which was pretty useful as well. So back up top, so I'm gonna try and kill these birds, which I have, that's good. If you watch the first episode, you've got to shoot the wooden thing down to shut the gate. And then what you can do is shoot the watch down so it doesn't land in the water. And this is the first of our puzzles. So I can't actually remember the... Basically, you see those symbols on the door that are just below and to the right and left. You just want to make that symbol. Um, there we go. Now, obviously, there are plenty of guides out there that show you exactly what buttons to press. They're not that complicated, but there are quite a few along those lines throughout the game. again we're just sort of clearing the room there will be another cutscene in the moon and I believe that's going to be the end of the chapter so we want to get everything we can here so let's go to the uh, the cutscene
Y si la plaga es mucho mejor que la muerte. <risa> <risa> You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. There you go, that was the end of that chapter. We'll just continue on a little bit though. Now obviously there's plenty of hints there, but they mentioned about having the same blood. You obviously could have killed him. There was that colour in Leon's eyes. You know, all will become apparent, but um, you know, if you've been keeping an eye out, it's probably not too much of a surprise. There is a grenade here, but we haven't got enough space yet. Ah, actually I remember this. See this guy there. And click on the toilet. Yeah, it looks like the huge toilets. Guess they have at least some. They're at least somewhat civilized. So there are some quite quirky little uh, lines and also sort of prompts when you click on certain things. I think there's an egg in here. Yeah. Now, when we go through here, there will be a familiar face from the first episode. Let's go through here. We're going to come back in for that, actually. No, we can get that grenade now. Just got enough space. So yeah, we're going to go outside. And if you can see there, there's another Mr. Chainsaw guy. I think the best thing is, is to rush in. Try and knock them to the ground and then potentially... Oh, should we grenade them straight away? I think we'll do that, actually. And then we'll run in with a shotgun. Shot that the air, which is good. And I think I'll throw an incendiary as well, actually. A bit closer, which is a bit terrifying, but that's okay. He's died. So, one thing I haven't mentioned so far is the enemies, the actual names. So, they're not technically zombies, they're actually called Ganados. So, it was a bit of a mix up, not mix up, it's like a, a change up rather, from the other Resident Evil games. Now, if you have played the other games, you know, one, two, and three, not all enemies were zombies anyway. And again, if you do have to shoot something down, using the TMP is always the best one to go through because, like I said previously, they're the cheaper bullets, the most, not common, but you get more of them. Ah, there's two nests, that's what I was thinking of. Now, there are quite a few people up here, so what we could do, it may seem like a bit of a waste, really, using a grenade. But I think I'm going to do it just because... And we may mop up wave. Oh, I've killed them straight away. So yeah, we're going to go back into the, the village now. And as you can see, there are some enemies again. I probably should have actually kept that grenade for this section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of lure them into here. And then we're going to shotgun them. I want to kind of wait till the last second if possible to get them as close. Obviously, you don't want to be hit by any of the thrown objects. So we'll just let her come to us. There's one guy up top. There's another guy over there as well. So I might just shoot him down. Uh, 
always watch your back and you can do a quick turn which is at least on the PlayStation it is a back and X to quickly turn around like that and that is very very useful in the game I think there's only one guy left so we'll kill him and then I'll sort of come back Oof, just managed to shoot that out of the air Yeah, the music stopped now. So what we'll do is we'll just go around because I think some things have respawned and we'll get those. Yeah, so we've gone around. We've picked up a couple of things. Just going to jump into this now. We've managed to... Uh... So you've got this key now. So we can now get in. And that sound that you hear is a sound... That will be in any sort of safe room. So it's a good sound. And in this room you can actually shoot down this. Just stand back from it. Let it burn out. There you go. You can pick up this uh, item. And then you can also do the same in here as well. When you do that you see all these glowy things around. So you can shoot all of these down. Ah, do you know what I should have done? should have used the TMP. That was a mistake. Not a massive mistake, just like I say, if you are going to shoot things down, use this if you can. And we'll meet an old friend. Got something that might interest you. Got a selection of. So as you can see, he's reminding us about the blue medallions, but we haven't been in an area where the second lot are yet. Are that will selling? be coming up. We're going to sell a few things, so I'm going to sell the bass first of all. Let's take on the raw space. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to sell the green herbs. <laughs> the, the three green Thank herbs. You. I'm actually going to sell the first aid spray all? as well. <laughs> <Is that all? laughs> the ruby Thank does not go in anything. <laughs> the brass pocket <laughs> watches by itself. <laughs> Thank you. And the headdress is just sellable. Thank you. These three, again, they can uh, slot things in, so we'll leave them for now. They don't take up any space. The actual items that you can't use don't take up any space, which is good. One new item is the stock for the TMP, which is really useful, but it depends on space. We may not get that yet. And we can tune up the TMP, which we're going to do. So we're going to increase the firepower and the reload speed. Unfortunately... I think I'm going to leave the capacity for now because it's only too short of full. The trick I mentioned earlier about waiting until it's nearly empty before you increase the capacity. Yeah, so we're going to leave that for now. If we remember, we'll try and make sure this is as low as possible. Now, I am actually going to sell the rifle ammo for now. It'd be great to keep it, but it is taking up a slot. And it's worth a little bit of money, which is good. We're not going to get the rifle for a little bit, so we might as well sell it. Flash grenades, I think I'm going to sell two of these... I'm going, to, I'm going to sell all three of them we don't specifically need it until a certain enemy crops up which again won't be for a little bit yet and because of what was sold we've got a little bit of space I think I will buy this stock for the TMP and the way the stock works you can actually place it anywhere I like to place it next to the weapon and then what you do is you combine it with the weapon and you can see they're both equipped now so I think we'll have the again this is just maybe my preference I just like to try and rearrange things so it's neat and tidy Now, when you come out this door, do have a look up because there is a nest just hidden here. Get that. And one thing that would have been useful if I did keep a flash grenade, they're also good for clearing out crows. If there's multiple crows around, and um, there's a couple of occasions where there's like a big cluster of them, why can't I think? What a is it? A murder of crows? Just got the timing wrong slightly on there. Ah, that was bad. No, I'm going to retreat back a little bit. If you can get them individually, great. Unless you want to use grenades or anything like that. Again, let's just get a wild shit down. 
Yeah, but the enemies, um, they're called Ganados. All will become clear in the story, you know, sort of what they are. But um, they're not exactly zombies. Now, again, we are going to have to watch out for snakes in these boxes at some point soon, but not quite yet. I think I remember where the first one is. Now, as you can see, the blue pendants are back, so you want to use TMP this time for these. So this one here. What we'll do is we'll, we'll head around and try and get all the TM, uh, the medallions for now, although there are some in a little bit of a further area. There's another one on the tree. Another one. Good shot. <laughs> if you can take multiple enemies out in one here, it's all the better. There's one blue medallion just around the back here. There's also a nest up here. And again, we're getting that TMP ammo down, which is actually a good thing in a way. guy down. There we go. Again when you're with this puzzle if you look up there is a medallion at the top. And there is a puzzle here so we'll do this now. So this puzzle I think this is one of the trickier ones to get right. I'm not very good with puzzles but what you want to do is you want to press three three times. Then press four three times. And then one last time, press three. And there's the cat's eye, which what we can do, we can now put this in the beer stain. So that's now got two. We just need one, which I think is a yellow one. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah, sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her, hurry! So we're gonna head along here. As you can see, there are some enemies. We've only got two TMP bullets left in the actual gun. So we use one to get rid of her. And one maybe. Now we don't wanna reload that, so we're gonna change the weapons. Could have kicked him, but and I'll quickly check them up. I can see, a, um, yeah, I can see one over here, but we'll get a bit closer. But what you want to do is turn back, and there's one below here. There's one over here. Not the best shot there. And there you go. There was the first snake. So I mentioned before, you want to double swing that knife. I'm not going to lie, I actually forgot that was the first one. So we're going to keep jumping over here, and we will be getting to a save soon. So we're going to take this guy out. So there we go. So this is actually where it would have been useful to have... A, uh, a flash grenade might be able to try and use an incendiary because the value of the incendiary against the value of what you can pick up if I get it right yes got them all did I? no but only one managed to get away as you can see, you've got lots of money here, way more than the value of the incendiary grenade, and you get a flash grenade. What we're going to do is we are going to save it in a moment. We're going to go and uh, pick up lots of items. Obviously, we're going to go that way in a moment, but we're going to head down here. There is a save point and the merchant, and then I think we'll end the episode there. Yeah, you'd want to just come around here. Again, there's a save point. I think there's something around the back here. 
and what we'll do is we'll make a save and then we'll go to the merchant and see what we can sell and buy and we might make an upgrade as well and as we can see he's saying well done for shooting all the medallions what this will give us is a gun and it will be for free so technically we buy it but it will be at zero cost so the gun is the Punisher and what this will do is it's very similar to the handgun you've got but it'll shoot through two enemies so that's really good when there's a crowd of enemies pretty much in a line if you look at the differences the handgun is currently slightly less power actually um, they're almost exactly the same I'm not going to keep the Punisher so what I'm going to do which is what I normally do is I'm going to buy this and then I'm going to cheekily what are you selling? sell it straight back for 15 grand now if you have a look there actually what I noticed was that the free upgrades so if you got all 15 medallions rather than just the bare minimum you've got an upgrade of firepower when you buy it so that would have cost you I don't know how much it only cost but a few grand so you've actually saved a bit of money there if you keep it and if you do sell it it's got a higher selling on price and what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade the TMP capacity because we did get it right down to zero, didn't reload. So we will now have that 50 bullets. So that's 50 bullets free for the TMP, which is fantastic. Yeah, you see, if I go into the inventory, you got 53 bullets there. So that's really good stuff. Again, you don't need a min-max this game, especially on the easier difficulties. But if you start getting on either normal difficulty or pro difficulty, you really want to maximise that as much as you can because ammo is a lot more scarce and enemies do, they're like bullet sponges, some of them. So you really need to keep on top of that. But that's it for today, guys. Episode 2 complete. Some even, even bigger challenges coming up. We'll see one of our first bosses. You'll see that soon. And you might see an old friend that was in the very first episode near the start someone that we helped out that may come to our rescue so keep an eye out for that but thank you very much for joining once again i hope you are enjoying this video please leave a like if you can drop a comment down below i love having the interaction with you guys so please do that let me know whether you've actually played this game have you completed it are you enjoying the look of it so far and what do you think of the remake it's not out yet as of recording I believe it is coming out in around about march 2023 a game i'm really looking forward to let's hope the remake lives up to the uh, the old game join me for episode three some more ticks and trips along the way when i when i can do and thank you for joining this time once again.